everyone. Welcome back to my studio. Today, I'm going to talk you through a sort of unconventional approach I took to solving a problem I had on this little kitchen litho on Gompi print. So here's how it went. Here's the print in question. And if you look closely, you can tell there's a small area where the original flat didn't quite line up with the drawn layer. So my solution was to print another flat, but this time print on the back of the paper. This is what the plate looked like, and what I had to be careful about was making sure that the registration marks were mirror image to those of the other plates. It was such a small area that rolling and inking for each print didn't take long at all. Once the plate was inked up, I carefully placed the print down, this time of course printed side up. I'm taking my time to make sure the registration is just right. I'm not using too much pressure for this one because I want to be really careful not to damage the paper. And here it is. As a bonus, that darker blue added a lovely shadow to the side of the cube. The next step for this print is going to be Sheen Calais, but first it has to dry. It's still not dry. And finally, the ink is dry. Time to trim all the excess edges from the gampi. And now it's time to tear my backing paper. I generally like to use BFK Reeves. The backing paper has to be damp for chine collet, otherwise it will be warped when it dries. I apply water to the fronts and backs of the papers using a Mizubake brush. And then I stack them to let the water soak in a little. Depending on the humidity level, I might have to reapply water during the chine collet process. What else do I need? Well, of course I need some sort of glue. I like to use Yamato Nori, a brush to apply said glue, a good pair of tweezers, and a piece of flexible plastic film. It's important to dilute the Nori with water so that it's easy to apply. The next step is to place your print printed side down, or in this case, image side down on the film. Apply Nori to the back of the paper, making sure it stays smooth. 
If your print accidentally folds over or gets a big wrinkle, that's where those tweezers will come in handy. Use pressure to attach the print to the backing paper. And repeat. Because the paper is damp, I sandwich them between thick pieces of cardboard so they dry flat. And here's the finished print. It might seem like an immense amount of work to put into such a tiny little print, but I'm really happy with the results. Thanks for watching and see you next time.